to, to start the season that way. Um, it's not easy to get out of a run like that. And uh, not only did he get out of it, but uh, you know he really, really took off. Uh, you know after those first 20 games or so, and uh, he's been a huge contributor ever since. Uh, you know he he handled the uh, the trade rumors really well. Kept you know continued to play and, and play at a high level, and now he's handling a different role um, coming off the bench. Uh, in a really professional manner, he's he's had two, two or three really good games in a row in the, in that role. And um, even though he wants to start, he understands it, and and uh, I really appreciate what he's doing for us. Do you know when Eric Pascal might actually be able to to return for you guys and play? Yeah, we're hopeful uh, that he he'd be able to play by the end of the road trip. So, you know, not in, in Minneapolis, but maybe in Houston or New Orleans. Steve, I know this is ultimately a, a Bob Myers question, but what have you what have you thought about Gary Payton II? second? Would you like to see him with you guys the rest of the season if, if that could work out? Yeah, we, we love Gary. Um, he's uh, He's an elite defensive player. He's somebody who can come into the game and make an impact. And that's really what you want from any player, uh, but particularly somebody uh, who's going to be, you know, in one of those last roster spots. Uh, so he's been fantastic. He's he's a great teammate, wonderful to coach, uh, always ready. And, um, you know, I've already put him into a, a couple of games where he has really flourished because he's he's so professional and, and as I said, a, an elite a defensive player, somebody who can uh, can kind of change the flow of the game just with his presence. So, um, yeah, we're we're all fans, not just me, but uh, front office as well. And we'll see where where all this goes. Obviously, his second 10 day uh, wraps up, I believe, tomorrow. So we'll uh, we'll figure out where we're going to go next. What would help Gary be the total picture? Because his defense is very good. What what else can he add on offense? Well, I think just uh, you know, improving his shooting is probably the biggest thing he could do. You saw the other night he came in and immediately knocked down a three point shot. Um, you know, and he doesn't doesn't need to be a great shooter. Just needs to be a solid shooter to make uh, make people respect him and guard him. Because uh, you know he can score in transition and. He's a he's a unique player because he's um, he's a, the, the size of a guard, but he can can play like a big offensively. He got two layups the other night just from kind of hanging around the rim, or, you know, slipping behind a defender, back cutting. So he's a, he's a really smart, tough player. Steve, with the limited practices and shoot arounds right now, how do you get Eric the work he needs to? to rehab and get get ready to play full court. I know you said he had some three-on-three -three work mm -hmm. the other day. Yeah, he played more three-on-three -three today. Uh, he will, he'll play probably five-on-five -five tomorrow. Uh, you know, we'll come in um, before our flight to Minneapolis and have a, a light practice, and, and that will probably include a, a scrimmage with some with Eric and you know, some of the guys who haven't been playing much. So. Um, he's just got to keep working and, and, and you know, in the, in the NBA, it's, it's all about, you know, self-preservation. You, you've got to, we're going to help every, every way we can, but, you know, it's uh, individual workouts, it's three on three, it's anything you can do to, to maintain your con conditioning and your rhythm, uh, you have to do that. Do you see him as a, uh, like a small ball five when he returns? Um, I mean, he, you know, he can play either the five or the four. Um, he's done that uh, for us. And um, we'll just see. It, it'll all depend on circumstances. What ultimately made you decide to kind of just stop practicing, stop shooting around? And uh, do you expect to kind of continue that moving forward? Well, I wanted to play some golf the last few days. So, um, no, I, I think um, we all felt a sense of exhaustion when we came back uh, from the road trip. And uh, I think some of it was the nature of the trip itself, um, flying all over the place, a lot of, uh, you know, 3 a.m. arrivals at hotels, that sort of thing. 
And then some of it is just the uh, overall feeling of the, the season. You know, it's been an exhausting season for everybody, for every team, every player. Um, the COVID protocols, uh, the uh, lack of um, emotional connection, um, you know, not being able to see family or, or friends on the road, go out to dinner, all the normal things that you do to kind of fill up your cup and, and um, you know, complete your, your, uh, your social life. Um, you don't have any of those things. So it's, this season has been extremely draining and um, it just felt like the right thing to do, you know, the last few days, just say, you know, don't, don't come in. Uh, we'll meet at the game, come on in and, and let's uh, bring our energy for the game, conserve it and, and bring it for the game. And so far, I think it's, it's been really a good change. The guys seem to have responded well, they seem to have a, a pep in their step. And so it's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how long we do it.